Officials from the Rwanda Development Board told those gathered for the General Assembly that the country intends to double revenue from the tourism sector from 400 to 800 million US dollars annually. These are politicians representing Rwandans in Parliament and their respective political parties. It is good that we share with them what we are doing because we are all involved in the development of the country and benefit from it. We all want our country to develop and that is why we gather as political parties to discuss things and give their input, which we are happy to receive. That is why we told them what we have been doing when it comes to the tourism sector, our progress and the challenges that still exist. Participants at the National Consultative Forum of Political Organizations General Assembly have commended the country's policies geared towards boosting tourism and investment, saying it will help improve the social welfare of Rwandans. It is good that they give us such information as politicians because when you are the head of a political party, your party members are Rwandans after all. We should adopt these policies and make them our own and ensure that they spread among party members at different levels. We are satisfied because the CEO of RDB gave ample explanations showing us objectives and what has been achieved. We are therefore happy because tourism brings in a lot of revenue for the country in many ways. Much has been achieved and there is much we can commend. 2019 saw a jump in the value of investment companies that registered themselves with RDB with a total worth of 2.4 billion US dollars up from 2.1 billion in 2018 an increase of 22.6%